Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited notebook video. Today I'll be reviewing Samsung microwave. It's a 40 liter microwave and it's a microwave of 1000 watts. And today's review will be a little bit different from all my other reviews. Um, most of my reviews I tend to review product and um, say what's working well, what's not working well. Today I would like to describe um, why I ended up with the Samsung microwave and not other popular choices. And also I will briefly go through my journey with other microwaves. Uh, natively I was probably in the last 10 years using Panasonic microwaves. It never failed on me, Panasonic was really good until four years ago we moved the house and uh, we broke the plate the rotating plate uh, inside the microwave and surprisingly the plate was more expensive to buy than to buy a new microwave and this is where i could not understand why I need to throw perfectly working microwave to, to you know. I, I, I just didn't get why pledge should cost more than microwave itself. And at that point in time, microwave is a little bit involved, uh, evolved and um, I ended up buying LG 42 liter, uh, I think it's called Near Chief microwave and there were two reasons why I bought it. Uh, I think it was next step up from no, normal conventional microwaves. It was an inverter microwave. And also it looked very, I guess, modern. It had, uh, instead of just numbers and everything, it had a scale when you can add time um, to cooking. It had the LED uh, light inside. Uh, it was playing nice tune when cooking finished. Everything was good about it, with exception um, that after first three months that microwave stopped working. Uh, when I said stopped working, it didn't blow up. Um, nothing happened to it. It just you started up, and you can hear almost um, sound that you hard to hear it was very quiet but it was kind of clicking so it was rotating the plate time was there everything was there it just wasn't heating up so i took microwave back to the shop and um, they swapped it straight away into a new one that lasted another year it was the same fault it was just clicking doing nothing and when i swapped that point in time i purchased extra warranty so I think LG coming with a two years warranty and I purchased extra warranty for, for the microwave another two years. And the third microwave of same kind failed after two and a half years. That was extended warranty. And extended warranty policy is a bit different. They actually refine you the whole amount that you purchased microwave for. And I could not go for fourth LG because LG let me down uh, in many, many different ways. Um, I had uh, troubles with LG fridge. I had troubles with LG microwave. And this review is not about LG. I decided to go for any other brand but LG. So here's my journey. I went to the shop and there were many choices and I went through elimination of what I wanted and what I didn't. Um, what I do with the microwave, I just warm up food, I defrost the food and sometimes I steam vegetables. I did not need any fancy microwave. Two reasons, two main criteria were important to me when buying a microwave. It's a good space inside. I wanted uh, 35 plus liters, 40 would be ideal, 40 and above. And uh, I needed kind of, not powerful, but reasonably powerful microwave. That means 1000 watts and above. As I said, I didn't want to touch LG. Um, I had really good experience with Panasonic and um, went straight to Panasonic 
and learn that Panasonic now gives you only one year warranty in Australia for microwaves. I don't have anything against Panasonic, but companies that don't believe in their product longevity, um, I'll say repel me or make me not trust them. And Panasonic as a brand costs a reasonable amount of money. I just got so scarred by experience with LG and I didn't want to game. Uh, I wasn't game to buy Panasonic with one year warranty. So Panasonic and LG were out of picture. Then I left with literally two brands, Whirlpool and Samsung. Uh, Whirlpool, I've got no opinion about Whirlpool, but they tend to make like fancier microwaves and they were fancier priced. And Samsung was, I wouldn't say cheap and cheerful, but the price was right and it had most of the functions that I wanted. So let's talk about those things. So this microwave is in black color, as you can see, I've got some. Um, uh, brown cupboard so I really didn't want white microwave ideally I didn't want stainless steel because um, of fingerprints and it probably wouldn't be looking good in this um, uh, space so idea was to have a um, black-ish or grey-ish or brownish microwave which uh, Samsung did um, inside space uh, is 40 liters it was um, close to minimum of my requirement, but also need space for microwave to breathe. So it was perfect combination between size inside and size outside. Um, also, the price was right. The price was right. I think it cost me something like two hundred dollars for Samsung branded microwave, and LG were uh, refunding me. $269 for the previous microwave so that extra money that I gained I purchased again uh, two-year insurance so uh, not insurance but uh, what they call consumer protection or, or product warranty um, external one so I've got two years warranty with a Samsung which was plus uh, a right price two years extended warranty with uh, Harvey Norman I bought from Harvey Norman um, and uh, it's 1000 uh, watts power in microwave which is a little bit less than LG that I had and I can feel it when I warm it up but everything is adjustable so 1000 watts so I'll probably warm it up for two for 10 or 20 seconds longer uh, the main complaint of this microwave was uh, hard to press buttons and hard to open microwave I'm not sure how hard it is to open microwave I did not experience that uh, the buttons are definitely harder to press, they're not as sensitive as other microwaves but uh, in my case it's tucked in and it's not moving so I press a little bit harder, it's alright. One bit is very annoying and everyone comments on that is Samsung still using uh, non-LED light inside and also a very dark cover at the front. So when you put something for cooking or warming up, you literally cannot see. Food could be um, on a running, uh, boiling off from your plate or whatever. Um, it's hard to spot and you cannot see anything inside. I think it's really big, big oversight from Samsung. And also, how hard to put LED light inside. I think the dark cover is not a problem. The problem is uh, useless light inside. So that's my only complaint about this microwave. Otherwise, look, um, it's um, easy to use. I guess in some cases even easier than LG. LG, every time we had power outage, was resetting the clock. And to redo the clock, you need to power down microwave and power up and then straight away. Otherwise, there's no function to do so. Um, with Samsung, you got uh, a button here, so clock, and you do it any time. So I guess in my books, it's working, it's working fine. There's nothing special about it. What's special about it, the price is right, the size is right, and basic features are working quite well. So time will tell, but at the moment, for the price point of this microwave, I'm uh, really happy with it. Uh, I cannot fault it. And if people would ask my opinion, would you recommend it? 
Uh, I definitely would not recommend LG, but that's my personal experience. Panasonic is your choice. I think it's a great microwave. I just don't believe uh, one year warranty is sufficient enough to cover your um, uh, great product. Uh, Samsung was hitting all the right points with the price, size and performance. So I would, uh, I would recommend using this one, especially for people on a budget, especially people that are not looking to bake or grill or other things in the microwave. There's a plenty, plenty of function besides defrost. Um, they're all listed here on top. I'm not using them. Um, just want a, a reputable brand that does good job. So Samsung it is, 40 liter in black uh, uh, face. Uh, uh, yeah, the, another selling point was uh, the given um, ceramic finish inside uh, and 10 years warranty on that. Uh, the reason why I chosen this particular one because ceramic it's easier to clean and uh, that day when I bought this microwave the ceramic inside was uh, on a special at the same price as other offering in that category. So here you go, um, 40 liter Samsung, Samsung microwave uh, review. If you got any questions or any uh, I don't know wishes for any other videos for me to review please post down below and i'll try to answer those questions or make other videos thank you so much for watching greg from brisbane australia until next time